Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 259 of our grave tour of the famous movies. In this episode, we returned and again visited Pasay City Public Cemetery in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of Filipino gay man and best remembered in his alias as Walterina Markova, a comport gay during Japanese occupation in the early 1940s. Located at the southern side of the cemetery in Section 4, we found the final resting place of Walter Dempster Jr. Walter Dempster was born on the 20th May 1924 from an American father and Filipina mother. He was a Filipino gay man and best remembered in his alias as Walterina Markova, a comport gay during Japanese occupation of the early 1940s. Dempster started performing as exotic dancer in the late 1930s at clubs in Subic Bay and Angeles City. He started using his alias as Walterina Markova after Russian ballerina Alicia Markova when the latter performed in the Philippines in the 1930s. In January 1942, when Japanese occupied the Philippines, Dempster continued his exotic dance performances in some clubs in Manila including Tsubaki Night Club, located at the intersection of Den Mabini and Padre Faure Street, mainly for his Japanese customers. In the early part of Japanese occupation, Dempster and some of his gay friends were arrested by Japanese forces after some of Japanese officials who brought them to hotel discovered that they were gay men. Dempster and his friends were then brought to Rizal Memorial Stadium and punished. They were then brought to their quarters, beaten, kicked, and raped by a number of Japanese soldiers. Dempster and his friends already served the Japanese soldiers as comfort gays. They cleaned their quarters, shined their boots, washed their clothes and military uniform, and again raped by at least 20 Japanese soldiers daily. After the liberation of Manila and surrender of the Japanese forces, Dempster along with his American stepfather and stepsisters were evacuated on their way back to the United States to establish a new life. However, before leaving Manila, Dempster saw many U.S. soldiers still stay in Manila after the liberation and then he decided to remain in Manila. Forty years later, Dempster ended up at home for the Golden Gaze at Pasay City, working as makeup artist for Pasay City Councilor, writer and columnist Justo Justo. 
in 1995, Husto was looking for an exciting story to write and therefore Dempster volunteered to share his wartime story and experiences as comfort gay in the hand of Japanese soldiers during the war. Mag-iisa na sa buhay si Walter. Kinukup siya ng House of the Golden Gates, isang pabahay para sa mga matatandang bakla na wala ng pamilya. Mapahanggang ngayon, hindi pa rin siya nagsasampa ng claim ng pagiging comfort gay. Wala akong magagawa. Alam na naman po ko sa ko. In year 2000, Dempster's life story was finally immortalized in the movie titled Markova Comfort Gay as portrayed by Dolphy. Eric Kison and Epi Kison, as directed by Hill Portes, with Husto Husto as its production consultant. Kasama na sa routine ko ang bisita iglesia, ganito lang ang buhay ko. Matalas, nasa simbahan, kasama mga manang at mga walang pag-asa. Dahil ito sa nagpanood mo sa TV, no? Manay. Sigyan, salamat. Huwag ka nalang malungkot. Ay, tanda ka rin, bruha ka. Hmm? Huwag pala ka, huwag ka nalang malungkot. Masama yan. Be happy. Diyos ko, kasi kaya tutulog na. The movie Markova Comfort Gay received awards and nominations including 2001 FAMAS Best Supporting Actor Award for the role played by Eric Kison, 2001 Gawad Urian Best Supporting Actor Award for the role played by Epi Kison. On the other hand, Dolphy was also nominated for Best Actor Award in both FAMAS and Gawad Urian Awards for 2001. Dempster spent the remaining years of his life at home for the Golden Gates in Pasay. He died on the 24th of June 2005 due to road accident when he was hit by a racing cyclist. He was 81. In the next episodes, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and Libingan ng mga bayanong tawid. Later in this channel, we will also post more creative videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next great tour of the famous episodes.